Okay, every time I press play, I lose the Bluetooth. So we'll see if we can connect again. Can you see how that scene is the dirtiest scene with him on the noose and the money? That's the rat, isn't it? And he's on a cross. Sold out. The Messiah, Jesus Christ. For a bag of coins. So this is the third time he's been on a noose, but the rat actually put the good on a noose as well. And there's twice in this movie, because the good is likened to an angel watching over the rat, right? So he keeps cutting him slack and giving him breaks, but he is a rat. So the rat turned and he had the good on a noose. And twice there were miraculous happenings like a cannon went through the hotel wall. So he didn't die on the noose, right? And when the rat got him again and was parching him to death in the desert without water and the intention was to kill him. There was another miraculous happening with the wagon that showed up. And then there was the fortune because someone in the fortune someone in the wagon, I'm really tired, who was dying, a soldier, gave the secret away of where the gold was, and that's when they went on the hunt for the gold, and that's the good, the bad and the ugly, all looking for the gold. But the only one that knew was the good, he had the secret.
Is he going to shoot him down? <laughs> That's when it just dawned on me. I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Silence. The ugly. The bad. And the good. Silence. My volume's up. There is silence at the end of the movie. That's how it finishes. There's silence. Wow. So it was um a shock. Because there's this amazing theme song that runs through it. And that's what you would expect to hear when he's riding out. It's silence. Just like where the Lord had sent me this morning. When I watched that bit of Clex video where he said about Bam Bam coming out of the shadows. And I realised that I saw a man in the shadows at the door. Like he's coming through the door out of the shadows. So I looked for that video and I found it. And the Lord had showed me that picture on the 20th of the 10th, 2020. It was on my birthday. And this is my birthday surprise from last year confirmation because at the same time the Lord told me silence that's why in the morning when I uploaded it I was silent because the Antichrist is here just like Lex said it's here He's here. It's here. He's excited. I'm just tired. <laughs> just because it's late, but I do. I really praise God. I, I praise God for it, and I thank him. Because I'm without any doubt. I have absolutely no doubt. I had no doubt at Christmas, because he gave me a month and a half's heads up warning 
that that's what was happening at Christmas. I was posting it in November and December and I knew for sure at Christmas. And now you should know for sure. And that the word is silence. Because the Lord gave me this word three or four days ago. The good, the bad and the ugly. And I have not watched this movie. You can tell by... You can tell I have not watched this movie by watching those clips in part one. And we know about the rat and we know about Judas. We know about a lot of things from watching what I put up tonight. And I think we're going to know more. I think the Lord will show me more. I haven't, um, I haven't really covered the bad yet. I've only covered the ugly. Are you pretty? You might not think so. We're different. Yeah, you're ugly. The rats. The R A T anagram. And when the sheep see it, they jump. So why don't I just do a wee bit of homework for you again? And look up that anagram for rat, eh? R-A-T. So we've got the numbers. I'll look it up because I know it's important. But look at the thumbnail on part one because the Lord had me look at the timestamp. And the movie's um, basically summed up in the timestamp because that's the good. So really, this movie is about the good. And the good is something I still need to bring in this series, three-part series. I've only brought the bad, uh, the ugly. And I have to bring the bad, which is the word the Lord gave me to scribe. So I've already got that under wraps. Well, the Lord has. <coughs> Dog's trying to jump up. So silence, right? So please look back on what I've been putting up in the last day or two because that is important. I know it's a lot, but the Lord rebuked me for um for thinking about yes. Yeah. Thinking oh for minding men, you know, over him because he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't really give a crap about the campaigners and the ones that might go, Oh, it's just too much. Lisa, you know, you haven't got time. No, you haven't got time. And you missed the banquet. Because his message, and I tell you what, he's worth it. Because after all we know and what we're all going to find out very, very soon, for him to still bring a, mess, bring a message of compassion and love. Look at the timestamp in the first part of this. And that's his overriding message. It's the good. This is a really evil movie. This is like... Oh, what's his name? Taran... Taranta... You know, the... You know, like the real hardcore movies of cowboy movies that have come out in the last eight years this is equivalent to it and it's in 66 i can see why it's had a big impact but it's a biblical movie it's very biblical so watch part one again and have a look through the last day or so keep following and it will make, well it needs to get in it and you need to realise that the Lord is calling. I think silence is the order of the day and that's why this movie finished like this and 1966 was one year before I was born so it was 54 years ago 
and the Lord put this movie on the big screen, not the enemy. We need to be looking at what the Lord is doing. He's shown me a few movies. Remember the three romantic movies, Sleepless in Seattle. Look it up. I've posted three romantic movies. They're about the rapture. This one is about the Antichrist. <laughs>